Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and uh, I did a little haul video the other day about getting these Paris trunk stamp pads from uh, Tuesday morning and another person got them too and they said, oh my gosh, they're so dry. So I thought I would just show you, see how I just stamped it on there and like hardly anything came out. And if I turn, by the way, this is um, stone, so it's kind of a grayish color. It's very, very faint. There's a little teeny miss you. But even still, I just wanted to show you, these are dye based pads, and so I'm just using a little bit of water here, giving it a quick spritz, giving it a minute to soak in. And automatically, you can see, I'm getting a little more, so you can kind of work it in a little bit. Maybe add a little more water. You can set this with the lid back on and kind of let it rest for a while. <coughs> and excuse me. And um, that's more like the color it's supposed to be, is this gray. So I'm just letting you know that you can um, take a stamp pad that maybe has seen better days, and uh, if it's dye based, just give it a little bit of water and let it soak in and it will reactivate somewhat. And remember too, then you can use these for fun things like um, direct to paper techniques. So here I'm just kind of scrumbling, that's my favorite word, scrumbling it onto um, some embossed paper. So if you have an old dye basting pad, um, don't give up on it. Maybe just spritz it with some water and give it a little time to reactivate. And um, you know, you can get some goodie out of it. Still for a dollar, I feel like, uh, you know, I can get some really good use out of this pad. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And uh, any comments or questions, just leave them in the uh, section below and I'll do my best to answer them. See you at crafttestummies.com.